Good morning, my name is Janisha, and today I would like to inform you guys about a photograph that I found about a newlywed couple that has changed their style of communication from emailing and phoning to Facebook and Twitter. Um, first, I'm going to describe the picture. At first, in the foreground, you see a couple in a wedding gown and tuxedo, and they're clearly newlyweds. And you also see that both individuals are very tech savvy and into their cell phones. In the background, you see an empty bar that is clean and nicely decorated. You see lit candles, wine bottles, and alcohol behind the counter. And you also see a window which is reflecting the time of day, saying that it's early. Um, what I know about the photo is that it comes from New York Times Magazine in the social media section. The title of the magazine is, I mean, the title of the article is A Special Day Online, and it was published by Courtney Rubin. It was also published on September 7, 2012. Pretty much the newlywed couple <coughs> had their wedding public thanks to the groom's childhood friend named Ed Dale Jr. They got married in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is in Canada, and they pretty much just wanted to win a, pop a popularity contest in trending. Trending means um, being popular and deriving from, it derives from the English verb to trend or to become a trend. Now, what the photo means to me. Pretty much, this photo means that we're changing how we communicate and we don't go to the old fashioned way anymore from emailing and talking on the phone. We'd rather use Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all those other things to communicate. We have excessive use of it and this changes because we're relying more on social networking rather than the old fashioned way of communicating. It's actually more preferred. So, going through the main points that I said, first I told you about the photo, then I described the photo to you, and then I told you what it meant to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, very fast. That was uh, about a minute and 40 seconds. And Janisha, you were, you were, you needed to do